This is the Entrepreneur Unleashed Show, episode 26, with Mike and Robin Pichotta. The Entrepreneur Unleashed. The Entrepreneur Unleashed. The Entrepreneur Unleashed. The podcast where purpose and passion become revenue streams. Be real. Take a stand. Change lives. Here's your host, Patty Keating. Welcome to the Entrepreneur Unleashed Show. I'm your host, Patty Keating. Entrepreneurs everywhere are creating a new breed of business success. They're making their own rules, taking a stand for their purpose, leading through integrity, and making money by changing lives. Join me each week for compelling messages that will inspire and empower you to unleash your true purpose. Would you like to turn your message into a signature system and monetize it with a program or product online? Join me for the online biz webinar where we'll take you through the steps required to monetize your message. Head on over to the onlinebizwebinar.com and reserve your spot today. I am so excited to introduce you today to my guests, Mike and Robin Pashoda. They are hilarious. Let me just tell you, we've been chatting it up a little bit. They're rebellious and they love to expose expose bull crap. <laughs> they're also <laughs> forward thinking. And what are they, what are they doing with all of this? They're marketing strategists, they're mentors and they're coaches that teach the hottest and most fun online marketing methods today. You know what guys, they've transformed hundreds of their clients into rule breakers and money makers through authority, branding, product and program launches, visibility, list building, and of course, conversion techniques. And that resulted in multi-million dollar successes. That's why I want to share these two people with you. You're going to love them. They're crazy dreamers. They believe that it's possible for everyone to build a unique and profitable business and that everyone, you know, can do it on their own terms. They're stay-at-home parents. They have a three-year-old. They believe that making tons of money is pointless if you're strapped for time. So what they've done is they've mastered the art of leveraging and maximizing every ounce of online marketing so that you can serve more people, make insane amounts of money, and then, of course, have the freedom to enjoy it all. Hi, Mike and Robin. Welcome. Woo woo, what's Hi. up? Woo -woo. Hi. <laughs> so glad you guys are here. Tell us a little bit just about, I mean, I kind of gave them the overview of your business, but just, t I want you to have a chance to introduce yourselves and just tell us a little bit about what you're up to. Yeah, for sure. Well, first of all, it'll be kind of a ping pong match between Robin and I. Um, we're both very chatty and talkative, so we'll be kind of bouncing back and forth. But yeah, you kind of covered it a little bit. But basically, like specifically what we do is if if you've got fab ideas or you've created amazing things that could help people, but you just like don't know how to get it out there or make it stick or you're not like at the level of money or what that you want to be, that's where we come in. So like the best people that we help are like if you already have stuff to work with, but like there's not really like focus or like you don't like have like a clear plan or like a system to have it making you crap loads of money like a machine. Yeah, awesome. like most of our clients are, you know, they're kind of like. I have about 4,000 or 400 or 10,000, however many people on my list, but I don't know how to really pull lots of money out of the list and make great offers or like I have a webinar and sure, I get people signed up for it, but I really would like way more mm. or like I have a, a membership program or a product that I know I could sell tons of them if I had better systems or if I knew how to reach more people in more leveraged ways. Oh, that's yes. awesome. So tell us what inspired you guys to start this business. Okay. As you said, we're, we're kind of, you know, we're kind of rebellious people, right? Like we, we, we as we were talking before the call, kind of like you, like when everybody zigs, we like to zag and we're, we're kind of vocal about like injustice and like nasty stuff, like politics or where you see like this, like unethical, slimy kind of lying, deceiving, scammy stuff going on that bosses overlooked or whatnot, like as long as it brought in money. Right. So 
it, it kind of felt like nasty to us having to be aligned with like that kind of stuff, knowing that it was going on. And it was not something that we could ever like keep quiet about. It kind of made us like stand up against it and speak out. So we don't like get along well in the corporate world. So that was like where it started. <laughs> yeah. Right. Plus like we, we always have like so many ideas and they were never really like welcomed or put to use in like a corporate or like a job environment or like even when they were, we were making other people rich, which doesn't feel real good. Right. <laughs> and like we were totally not down with that. And so ultimately at the end of the day, we wanted freedom woo, woo. and like, like mel gibson yeah freedom. yeah like like picture braveheart like i ride it on a horse face painted <laughs> chanting freedom right <laughs> and we wanted to create something where all of our ideas our work our hustle however hard it was was directly related to our own success yes right? knowing the more that we put in the more we get out right and job doesn't cut it so that that's that's inspiration that is what inspired you all right so you're all inspired you're ready to go you jump off the cliff you launch the business what obstacles did you bump into oh, <laughs> obstacles okay well there were a million <laughs> but uh the first one is that you know in the beginning we were just really very scrappy, I like to call it. We were just all over the place. You know, we would hustle and we would do and sell anything that there was a market for. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. That was obstacle number one. But then once we really honed in on that marketing is like our thing, like it's it's second nature to us. We love it. We're so passionate about it all during the day, whether we're working or not, wherever we are, we're always noticing marketing and talking about marketing. So once we finally honed in on that, we started doing done for you services. And we had a local office here in town and we're in Florida and in Brevard County where the Kennedy Space Center is. And so right around the time when the economy was tanking, the space shuttle program was shutting down. On top of that, we had um, the Department of Transportation come knocking on our door saying that they're expanding the road where our office was. So we had to move. <laughs> so we had all these obstacles. And at that point, we were making very little money, but at the same time, a huger problem. Yeah, yeah. This this is a huger problem. Yeah. If that's, <laughs> that's, I like to that, make up words. Yeah, Robin will just make up words on the fly. So <laughs> Just you guys just be ready for that. This problem, like for all the guys that are listening, this is like you guys probably know this for all the men that are listening. You know what happens when you're broke? You have to move from your office. Nothing's working. The economy's tanking. You have no job. What happens next? She's pregnant. <laughs> so she tells me that she's like, of course, right? We're, she, yeah. she's, she's pregnant. And this was like supposed to be like the happiest day of our lives, our first child. But sadly, and you know, we're kind of ashamed to say it, but it was actually one of the scariest days of our lives. And we yeah. freaked out because we're really strong on family values. That's something Rob and I always talked about. And at that time, we were slaves to our business and didn't see how in the world we would be able to spend time with our son, raise him the way we wanted to, and provide for our family. So we were painfully aware that we were not scalable no leverage. We did all the busy marketing tactics, but there was no overarching strategy that pulled it all together. Mm -hmm. All right. So here you are and you know, it's just piling up all the challenges, all the obstacles. How did you move through it? What was the next thing that happened? Hmm. I would say going online, right? Mm -hmm. Like completely, like we totally switched our business model from the done for you and we did very well with the done for you so it was kind of like it was a little scary to kind of switch from that and completely cut it off get rid of all the clients and go completely full in mentoring coaching and i'll tell you it really it changed everything and mm -hmm. you know the thing like what helped us kind of move through it was was really just experience just a lot of life experiences you know back when we did 
the done for you, we realized we were sitting on some really like major insight, right? We had a big budget of other clients' money that we got to play with. Yeah, like a big playground of of testing, <laughs> testing strategies and seeing everything uh, from a, a really up close view. Um, you know, we didn't have our own money to be playing around, <laughs> but we all the clients that we served, um, we had a lot of money and big budgets to um, implement strategies, create funnels, do their whole product launches. And so we literally saw it all in like the behind the scenes marketing world, every strategy and tactic played out right before our eyes. So we saw like what worked for who, what didn't work for who and why and how, you know, some rules just don't apply in every unique situation. And that's another reason why we're so against cookie cutters and things like that. So we were able to, to get that experience and that's why we're now able to have such a strong conviction and a resolve to know like where we stand, to know where to say no to opportunities or shiny objects and things like that. And we know where we can take risks and do creative things to make us stand out. And we know like what's going to work for our own unique situation. Yeah. And so, so that was huge, right? That's like, it was gift. very huge. Yes. The challenges really teach us, you know, or show us what's right in front of us. And we just need to, you know, rethink how we're seeing them. What, um, what would you say the lesson was that you learned as a result of that? Hmm. <laughs> uh, I, that's kind of a hard one because I would say we learned so many lessons. We could, I mean, you could have us on every week for the rest of the year, just talking about that. Part. <laughs> hey, just there you go. Stuff, There's right? a podcast right there. There's lessons a podcast learned. for every week, right? <laughs> but Start point. The, we the could many just, lessons we learned. <laughs> the life lessons of Mike and Robin. There we go. Right? But two lessons really stand out the most, right? And and the first one that really sticks with us and really kind of is, is kind of like a compass for all that we do. I would say marketing is only hypothesis until it touches real people. Mm -hmm. That's something that really sticks with us and everything that we do. Like we really ignore the cookie cutters. You know, there's, we like to say there's an exception to every rule. Let your own data rule. Like that was a huge lesson for us. Not, you know, holding on to all these sacred cows and all these notions and ideas or what you think is this or on brand or some advice you got or what everybody else is doing. Data, your own data. Marketing is simply, it, it's an idea until people start to interact with it and you can get feedback and data and look at what worked, why, and how can we make it better. Yeah, and the only way that you can get your own data is by taking massive action every day, day in and day out. So we just learned to take tons of action so that we could get our own data and see what works for our business and what doesn't work. And then probably another uh, really, really, really important lesson we learned is that marketing is really not about tactics at all. Like it probably has like almost zero to do with tactics and it's really about people. It's about understanding people and how they tick, how they think, how they feel, how they're influenced and, and really understanding people and connecting with people on a real level and not just those surface tactic things. Yes. Yeah. That's awesome. So fast forward, here we are now. What are you guys passionate about right now in your business? <laughs> if you can't tell, we're pretty passionate people. So I would, <laughs> like whatever we're doing, like we could be outside mowing the lawn and we're just, we're passionate, we're on fire. So <laughs> everything, we, we love where we're at right now. It's fun, yeah. it's freeing, and we're right where we want it to be in our lives and in our business. You know, we're selling crap tons of our list building machine program, which we just launched a couple of weeks ago, our marketing game changer program. And 
we're really growing a fabulous community in our Facebook group. We have a, a private group called Marketing Mega Minds. It's a really cool place where Marketing Mega Minds, the name, from like all over the world kind of gather and just geek out about online marketing. And so even people who just want to be a fly on the wall, kind of watch conversations, really learn a lot, like just from being there and watching it. And so it, like, we're just passionate about all of those different things. And it's just, it's awesome for us to really be like where we want to be. And since we're not like strapped anymore, we're not like wondering where the heck is the next client going to come from. We're not in the chase, if you will, you know, we're not chasing one after another. We've kind of created that machine that we talked about earlier that just allows us to consistently have people wanting to work with us as opposed to like the other way around. So it's really exciting now that we get to focus on like being mentors, helping people get kind of what we got. And, you know, we get to have our own system, our own foundations and automation. So we're just digging it. We're just loving it. And it's, it's just really exciting. And, and then above all, like you shared in our bio is having the freedom to enjoy it all. Yeah. And yes. now that we, we have those systems, we like really just getting to dig in there and help our high level private VIP clients uh, and work one-on-one -on -one with people where before we wouldn't have time to work uh, with this many one-on-one -on -one clients uh, because we, we're not like coaches that ask people questions and, you know, how do you think and what do you feel? But we like <laughs> dig in there and like, we're kind of more like consultants, you could describe yeah. it. So we really have time now to do that and to help one on one clients and help them get their systems in place and do that. So it, re it really fires us up now to be able to see what we're helping other people to be able to accomplish. Isn't that the greatest, like helping other people get where you are? And it really is. Yes. Yeah, it, it is. It, it, it really is. And I think that's what we're so passionate about because for us, it, I remember like Robin and I literally looked at each other. We were doing the done for you and like we really didn't like it and we looked at each other and said we're never going to get to where we want to be and really doing a thing that we really enjoy and are passionate about if we don't take the leap if we don't just yes. say forget it we're gonna do it and we're going in that direction yeah and plus it was like at the same time, like you're doing things for people, we were doing it for them, but it really, it truly was not serving them at a high level because they're depend, they were dependent on us. Uh, they didn't know how to take charge of yes. their own business. Yeah. Yes. And now we're like so vocal and so passionate <laughs> about. You need to learn your own marketing. We can't stand it when somebody comes to us and is like, uh, well, what if I don't want to learn all that and do all that? What if I just want to pay you to do it for me? Then we're like, uh, there's the door. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, I have an idea. Go get a job because yeah. you're yeah. not going to succeed unless you understand marketing and like, business. Oh, my goodness. I, we could go on for days about it. But I, I actually just saw uh, uh, in, in a Facebook group that we're in, Frank Kern, and I'm sure most People know who Frank Kern is, you know, major millionaire, internet marketer. He actually was in a group and they were talking about emails and these great email writers. And Frank himself said that is one of the things he never, ever outsources is his touch with his. He writes his yeah. own emails, his own. And this guy's like a multimillionaire. He, that's why, because he gets, you can't outsource that stuff. You have to know and understand yeah. and understand marketing. You have to, whether you like it or not. And you have to understand your market, your prospects, your tribe, and listen to them and respond, or they're going to be on their way elsewhere. Exactly. I mean, sure, there's certain things you can delegate. You can delegate, you know, little tasks and, and the little tasks, but, you know, we always say your marketing can't do what you don't know. Yes. And so it's like... Sure, you can have other people put pieces together for you and put up a page, this, that, and the other, but there's, there's certain things that you have to know and you have to learn. So when we changed the business model, we were that we were able to serve people on such a higher level that was really helping them in the real ways that they needed to be helped. Yes, yeah. it's sustainable. Yeah. All right. So what's your vision for the next, I don't know, three to five years? All right. Well, you know, right now, you know, we're kind of just riding it out. I don't know if we got a chance to say it like on the call yet, but like we're in a good spot and we have a three and a half year old, but Robin is pregnant 
with dun, dun, dun. Baby, <laughs> with baby number two on the way, who will be coming very very soon. Um, Sophia Elizabeth, she'll Aww. be here in somewhere around two months or so. So, oh my gosh, Sophia! <laughs> <laughs> Nice. So we're we're kind of keeping steady, serving our people, loving life, you know, living the dream, and we're not like really like aggressively doing like a ton of stuff in the way of grow, grow, grow. We're we're kind of mm-hmm. you know where we're at, and you know once we kind of get in the groove with the new baby over the next five years, we you know some of the things we want is some we got a lot of ideas and some things put together for some live workshops, some live events, a book, and and for me one of the biggest things is. Having my son, who's about three and a half now, in the next two to three years, I want him on stage with me, his own products, rocking it out, kidpreneur. (laughs) Okay. I want to be on that list to get the email when he goes on. (laughs) (laughs) Gotcha. Put me down. You got your first sign up. (laughs) <laughs> we got him a domain already. We got him kidpreneur, kidpreneur.tv so he can have his own little TV show going on. It's That's funny because awesome. a lot of times, like, we'll catch him, like, in our office at our computer, like, typing and screwing everything up. And then we'll ask him, John, what are you doing? Oh, I'm online selling my car and truck, my business, Dad. <laughs> so, sometimes we'll catch him with our headset on and we're like what are you doing or he'll he'll say to us shh i'm getting on a coaching call now mom i think i saw a picture of that on facebook that was awesome (laughs) and and it's and it's awesome and that's like that's something that's really big for us as we shared family and freedom and to pass that on and like for him to be at events with us and see us speaking and actually be up there speaking and sharing is like a huge thing for me yeah and and you know the thing is you can see that that's natural for him. Like he wants that. He's yeah. like the, the pictures I've seen of him. He's like, put me in dad. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. That's awesome. So, all right, let's talk about your growth for a minute. What's the best advice that you ever received? Hmm. Very good question. I would have to, I'm going to kind of go old school here. Right. And it comes from Dan Kennedy, and I'm sure most everybody knows who he is. He's like a legend. If they had a Marketer's Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio or something, he'd be there. So, <laughs> Why does his... the Hall of Fame have to be in Canton, Ohio? <laughs> that's, that's where the Hall of Fame is, Robin. Oh, see, I learned something new every day. <laughs> it, it's – he – one of the things that he teaches and talks about a lot and he's really known for is no matter what you do for your business, you won't be successful until you think of yourself as a marketer first, like master marketer. Yeah. He, he says, you know, if I ask you what you do for a living, you better not tell me you're a restaurateur. You are a marketer who just happens to own a restaurant. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not a lawn guy. You're a marketer who happens to mow lawns. You know, you're not a realtor. You're a marketer who happens to sell houses. And even, you know, some people might say, well, I'm an entrepreneur. Well, even taking it that far, you know, if you want to be successful, you're not an entrepreneur. You're a marketer who happens to do whatever you do in your business. Mm -hmm. And it's like it really stuck with us that anybody and everybody who's ever, quote unquote, made it big. If you look at all all the successful the mentors that you follow, you'll see one common thread. And it's that no matter what they do. They learn to love marketing and they learn to become a master marketer in their business. And that, that's the best advice we've ever received. And it's ingrained in us. <laughs> Certainly. So what personal growth have you guys experienced as a result of this path that you have gone down in your business? Hmm. Personal growth. I- you know, we've grown in a lot of areas. I, I think the one that really like sticks out to me the most and like we're even like every day we're growing in this one more and more and more and owning it is freedom to be ourselves, right? Completely free to be who we are and not give a flip whether you like it or don't like it or not. We are who we are and the freedom to just stand behind that and stand behind it in our business and, and just be fun, you know? And I, I also think, the other thing that, that I could say that was really a big growth for us is 
just being unattached, right? Like able to serve out of our best to get other people their best without like any self-seeking or fear of losing or, you know, anything along those lines, just simply unattached, like, Hey, listen, this, you know, this is it. And just kind of run with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We we've learned to be a lot braver and more interested in, you know, serving and giving uh, to people rather than being liked, uh, not so concerned with who likes us or not. And it's really been fun. And the ironic thing is, and this, because we've seen this so much in our own personal growth, it's become like one of our soapbox things that we really talk about a lot to our clients and stuff. Because the ironic thing is that, the more you repel people and you're not afraid to repel people or turn people off or like draw that line in the sand that I love them or I hate them. It's actually been something that has been the biggest catapult of our success and us getting noticed and our authority and expert status. It's, it's made the other half of the people, you know, of course you're going to turn some people off, but it makes the other half like super hot for you. Yep. And it, it's really given us a major edge in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you're not pissing people off, you're not getting noticed. I, <laughs> exactly. I totally agree. <laughs> we piss people off a lot. We piss people off a lot. <laughs> sometimes we do it for fun. <laughs> you know. Yeah, sometimes people have called us, oh, they're pot stirrers. <laughs> but it's like, well, we, we'll speak our mind and we'll speak our opinions. And the more we speak our opinions and we're brave to do it, Number one, it brings on clients that we totally love and have yes. fun with. And yes. then number two, it gets rid of all those super sensitive people that, uh, you know, that just bring you down anyways. It's like, bye-bye. You, you don't like it, me? Okay, it, bye. It, it, <laughs> exactly. we, we've actually owned it so much that like, if you go to our personal Facebook profile, you'll see like our, our, <laughs> our timeline cover – says this timeline is rated r for restricted it is not for the uber sensitive and we go through this like whole list of like all these things and just let people know listen if you're super sensitive and all of these other things we're probably gonna piss you off so yeah. you, know. <laughs> you know you guys are playing yeah. right into my um to the motto here at the entrepreneur unleashed be real take a stand change lives and that part there about being real is just say it just go for it who are you what do you believe what do you stand for Claim that stand and you're going to change the lives that are waiting to learn from you. But when you're, you know, just kind of generic, plain vanilla, you're not going to get very far. You know, I, I yeah. think of, of a good friend of both you and ours, Kristen Thompson, always says, let your freak flag fly. <laughs> let your freak flag fly. <laughs> and I, I, and it, it's, I mean, just <laughs> run with it. Be who you are and just roll with it. That's right. That's why we're buddies. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's seriously, it puts you in that category of one. That's why we really don't believe in, in competition. We, we don't even think there is a such thing. You know, obviously, the literal sense, I guess there is. But really, I mean, if you own everything unique about you and your own point of view and your own personality and all these things, it's like you you really have no competition. There's there's clients out there for each and every yeah unique person so true right on there is no competition when you are being you because you are unique exactly you to, straight up oh yeah <laughs> okay so let's talk about some tools and resources what gadgets or tools do you guys use to make your life easier um does a computer count yeah <laughs> That's internet. a gadget. The internet. The internet. <laughs> um, on 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 a real on a on a real note, um, the time trade is is that probably one of our favorites. Like you know, that's for scheduling and it, it takes all the back and forth crap. Like, well, what well, works for you? I don't know what what time works yeah. for you. Are you clear Monday? We'll have your people call my people. No, here's a link. <laughs> here's a link. When you're ready, go there. You can access our calendar. Click it. Boom. Makes it easy, right? Yep. Um, what else? <sighs> Kind of tricky because, you know, we're kind of sticklers to the fact that, like, you shouldn't buy or, like, chase after all these tools as your savior, if you will, or as, like, the tool is the answer to growing my business and all this <laughs> other stuff. Because we believe that, like Robin said earlier, like, your tool can't do 
what you don't know, right? right? Like, I totally am not handy at all, so you could give me a hammer, and I really can't do much with it. <laughs> that's true. So, and, 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 and I'm cool, and I own that. That's fine. That's me. So, so tools aren't always the answer. Like, you can't give me a tool and say, hey, that thing will build a house. No, it won't. <laughs> Not in my hands, it won't. But, like, like, if you already have a strategy, like we shared earlier, if you have stuff to sell, you have a strategy, we love lead pages. Oh, yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Hands you know down, probably our favorite, one of the highest recommended tools that we recommend to clients is lead pages. Yeah. Yeah. And then I another agree. close second would be um, like automation systems like evergreen business system or easy webinar plugin where you can automate webinars and automate your whole um after you have a whole launch done that you did live you can take that launch and turn it in to be automated after that and so it's on forever so those kind of things we really love yes i agree wholeheartedly straight up <laughs> what about resources, books, podcasts, blogs? What do you guys recommend? Well, I would definitely recommend the Entrepreneur Unleashed podcast. Oh, great <laughs> show. Good recommendation. <laughs> Did you not think that I was going to give you the plug there? Of course. We definitely if, – if, if we were going to go like the book route, Robin, what, what would be your book? My book, I love a book. It's called uh, Fascinate by Sally Hogshead. Have you ever heard of that no. one, Patty? No. Oh, my gosh. You have to read it. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a must read. It's okay. basically, it goes over these seven triggers or these seven fascination factors that a person can have and you learn to identify which one yours is because they're all different and so if somebody thinks you know oh well the secret to getting attention online is to being a rebel like Mike and Robin and calling out the bull crap you know that's not the secret to getting attention that's our secret but everybody has their own and it helps you to identify the different personality traits that you have and how to bring them out in a way that makes you so fascinating that makes it where people cannot stop watching you and wanting to see what you do next there's all different ones i love that book that's a great we'll put that in the show notes for you guys listening like if you're out and about the show notes are going to be at pattykeating.com forward slash let's see it will be mike and robin so pattykeating.com forward slash Mike, A-N-D, Robin. And you can find all the resources they've talked about, some of the quotes that they've shared and uh, their insights as well as the podcast over there. And just in case they m mess up Robin's name, it's R-O-B-I-N. Some people, there's two ways. There's B-I-N and B-Y-N. So just... So that Thank you for that. And you can and always just type in Mike in the search bar and it'll pull, it'll pull it up for you. There you go. So looking back, if you guys were to do this all over again, what would you tell your younger selves? Online marketing. <laughs> Straight up. Straight the up. Next thing I would, the next thing that I would say, I'd slap them and I'd say, do it sooner. <laughs> right like I, I look at as we talked about our son a little bit like i look at him he's like he's like three and change right and like he's already starting to talk about his own business already mm -hmm. yeah like we said earlier so we we would definitely pull the trigger sooner and you know stop trying to learn 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 until you think you know everything to get started you're never going to know everything just get started because the more action you take that's where you learn the things you really need to learn i mean i could spend all day learning blogs learning podcasts learning webinars all these things but until i'm taking action I'm learning those. That's where I'm learning the things that are really going to improve me and improve my business. That's so, where the rubber meets the road because you get feedback from the market. Straight exactly. Up. Yep. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate the time that you shared with us and all of your wisdom and you're fun. You're just a, a fun <laughs> couple. Well, thank you. It was a lot of fun talking with you too. <laughs>
All right, guys, I'll see you later. All right, thanks for having us. Would you like to turn your message into a signature system and monetize it with a program or product online? Join me for the Online Biz Webinar, where we'll take you through the steps required to monetize your message. Head on over to the onlinebizwebinar.com and reserve your spot today. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the Entrepreneur and Lee Show. If you did, please go to pattykeating.com and let me know what you're up to this year in your business. While you're there, be sure to grab your copy of Five Quick Ways to Share Your Expertise. 